Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl, the Legless Ampity Beauty, author Kathy Holmes, the entrepreneur of Exquisite Women Boutique and especially Sweet Homemade Pound Cakes. Yes, today's topic, guys, is accepting, learning how to accept help after you have become an amputee, one of the biggest things that we really, really want is our independence back. And we don't want to accept the help from anybody. I mean, we try our hardest. Sometimes we rude. Sometimes we, we hurt people's feelings. The reason I know what I'm talking about, because I used to be that person. I didn't want to accept no help. If you ask me, can I help you? No, I got it. Yes, I was rude, y'all. I know it's hard to believe, but I was rude. But let me tell you how God taught me. One day, I went inside of the store, the grocery store, Publix. And I always get the basket that puts on my leg, you know, that sits on top of my leg, because that's what they taught us in um, recreational therapy when I was in physical therapy. And um, I went in there just for some deluxe crab salad and I picked up a little a couple of other things and I had a friend of mine with me and we going around picking up stuff picking up stuff picking up stuff picking up stuff and this is where God had taught me a big big lesson we pick up things and we get to the register and it was a nice young lady one of the sales associates she said you can come over here to this line and I can help you and you don't have to go to the self-checkout so I ignored her once she said it one more time I ignored her twice. She said the third time. I said, I don't need any help. I got this. And she backed away. So I'm I'm bagging up all my stuff, bagging up all my stuff, doing everything. So my friend, she was kind of, you know, she looking like, okay, Kathy done clicked on the cashier. So we pick up our stuff. We go. And the lady, she was nice. She said, you have a good day. And I said, you have a good day too. You know, and I rolled my eyes. Next thing I know, I see somebody running out the door. Hey, miss, miss, miss. The very thing that I went in there to get the crab salad, I left it. And she brought it to me very nicely. Do y'all know I fell that low? That low. My friend said, now look what you did. Do you know I apologize to that lady? Because I was so mean to her. She was trying to help me. And the very thing that I went in there to get, I left it. And she brought it to me. Miss, miss. And I said I was sorry to her. I apologize. So what I'm saying, we have to learn to accept the help as amputees. For a long time, I was independent from Florida. All the way from Florida. I was very independent. I didn't ask for any help. I didn't ask nobody for help. I needed help. But I would never ask for help. And that was one of the biggest things that the doctor told me that was wrong with me when I went to the psychologist. He said, I'm going to tell you two types of people. You have givers and you have takers. He said, people that give, that take, their hands are like this. They don't give anything. It's always like this. It's tight. He said, but people that give, they don't ask for help. They feel like that they can, they got it and they can do it and they don't need to ask for that help. They don't like to ask for help. So givers, all you givers out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. You do not like to ask for help even though you need it 100%. You still do not ask for help. And that's how I was. I remember I went into a major depression last year. Because I was going through something and I needed help and I would not ask for help till it end, I ended up in the hospital and the doctor told me, ask for help. Stop blocking people blessings because people really do want to help. There are some good people out in this world. And so I learned that. I'm still learning that, y'all. I'm still, it's kind of hard for me to ask for help, but I'm not rude anymore. If somebody, if somebody asks me if I'm getting out the car, can I can I help you? They'll say, I don't want to be rude. Do you need any help out the car? I'll be like, no, no, thank you. But yesterday, I needed help out the car because it was a car parked really close to me. And he said, do you need any help? I said, yes. So now I'm learning how to accept the help. Y'all remember I wrote the blog on accept the help. 
So go read my that blog, Accept the Help on Free to Speak Freely. And it talks about accepting the help. You be you we make we 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 call them people to miss their blessings because we won't accept the help that they're trying to offer us. Isn't that something us amputees? Because we want to be independent. You know, even if you're not an amputee, you probably got some you know, some kind of internal illness or something, and you might be paralyzed or one leg or in this leg, but we want to, we have, we have to learn to accept the help when we need help from people. Now me, because when I moved to, cause in, in Florida, they have regular ramps. In South Carolina and North Carolina, they got hills that's supposed to be ramps for handicaps, and you rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. So now when people ask me, um, would you like me to push up that ramp? I say, yes. I cross my arms like this and say, yes. I accept. I've learned how to accept the help. When people want to push me, I accept the help from them. So that is what I want. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope I'm not getting the cold. Um, That's what I want to talk about this morning. Learning how to accept the help. Okay? Learn how to accept the help. Remember, people that are not givers, their hands are like this. That's what the doctor told me. They don't offer any help. They don't, they're not going to give you any help or nothing. But they are receivers, but they're not givers. But people that are givers, it's hard for us to accept the help. Because we're givers. It's hard. And then I know it's hard to accept help from some people because you don't want people going back saying, well, I did this for her. I did this for her. I did this for him. I did this for her. I did this for him. And you're wondering how long, how long do I owe you? You know, it's like you owe them for the rest of your life. So that's, you, you may feel like that too. That's why you don't want to accept the help. That's very understandable. I understand that because I've been done that way before too. But learn how to accept the help. God has some good people out there that's not going to hold it over your head once they help you one, two, or three, or four times. They're not going to hold it over your head. So, and learn how to accept the help. Learn how to, repeat after me, learn how to accept the help. Ask for help if you need it. Just stop making people miss their blessings because they because they asking because they want to help us and we won't allow them to help us. So now you know what I and then I had a bad and so again learn how to accept the help. I'm gonna go right now because I am baking. I have a lot of orders for Thanksgiving. Thank the Lord. That I have a home base base bakery and got guys. Guess what? Since November have come in, I have baked over fifty cakes by myself in the wheelchair. Yes, we are very very independent, but we still have to accept some help. Yes, we still have to accept some help. But anyway, I got to go. I got a lemon cake in the oven, and I'm baking a lemon, a raspberry lemonade cake. For a customer. So I got about 17 more cakes that I need to bake. I've been baking since November came in. So I got to learn how to accept the help. I, I accept some help. When I'm baking, I don't like nobody helping me. But I'm accepting some help. But my thing is today, learn how to accept the help as an appetite. If somebody want to open the door for you, allow them to open the door for you. Somebody want to help you out the car, allow them to help you out the car. You know, we don't have to be superheroes or superwoman, a superwoman or wonder woman or whatever. We can, you know, it, 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 it can alleviate some of the stress off of us. Yes, I'm talking to amputees today. I'm talking to people that are paralyzed today. I know we are super independent and we can outdo anybody with some legs. Yes, we can. But learn how to accept the help. If you liked my video, subscribe to my video. Hit the red bell bound down to the bottom. Read my blog, Accept the Help. And I, I may come back later on today and read it to you in a few minutes, learning how to accept the help. Read my blogs, and don't forget to order my book from Tragedy to Triumph. I lost my legs to recover my life. It's right on. It's on Amazon. The link is right under the video. And don't forget to read my blog, Free to Speak Freely. Don't forget to order my CD, my testimony from CD Baby. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on um, Instagram. 
It, it, learn how to accept the help. That's my major thing. It, learn how to accept the help. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Share, share, share. Let everybody know here. Let everybody hear. If you like my videos, share my videos. Like my videos. Okay, this is your girl, the Legless Amity Beauty, author Kathy Holmes. I love you once. I love you twice. I love you three times. And guess what? There is nothing you can do about it because I love you. Now, come on, Amity. Accept the help. Come on, the one people that are paralyzed. Accept the help. They open the door for you. Let them open the door for you. That's right. They want to help you out the car. Allow them to help them out the car. Stop making people miss their blessings. We are making people miss their blessings because they want to help us. Okay. All right. You guys.